Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to another class guide for Lost Ark Western release. Today, we're going to be going over the Gunslinger, uh, which started out kind of as the female mirror of the uh, Dead Eye, um, which is kind of just because they started out being like gender locked per class. They've been slowly trying to add classes that give you the option to play either gender, um, colloquial gender, as I suppose, um, and Gunslinger is kind of in that. So you'll see that they have the same passive as the Deadeye, uh, but they have a little bit different gameplay, different um, engravings as well, and kind of different play style on that front. So what this guide is, we are going to be going over the general mechanics of the character, how it plays, what to think about, what to expect when you get to high level, um, and what the uh, group play is like and what the mechanics are that make you decide on how to build it and how to play it. We're not gonna be going into an advanced guide of what to pick, what's the best, what's the meta, mainly because one, the regions that exist now are already pretty different in their meta. So between Russia, Japan, and Korea, they all play a little bit differently from each other. And I expect that when North America and Western Europe come out, uh, they will play differently as well. So we're not going to be diving into that. I would rather just wait to see if any emergent gameplay comes out from the Western release and we get a different meta developing. But what we will do in this video is just give you an idea of what Gunslinger is like all around what you can expect and uh, maybe help you decide if you're going to main it because this, ga this game has tons of very fun and interesting classes and I know a lot of people are struggling to pick. But first, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Who knows? I might even be streaming right now. Let's start out with the, uh, the I guess the in this case, the identity, which is the exact same identity as the Deadeye. It is going to be this weapon swapping. So if you look down here in the middle where the identity always is, you see that we have three different weapons and we can freely swap between these at, at all times. So I have my dual pistols right now. I can swap and pull out my shotgun. I can swap and pull out my rifle. So uh, you have all these and each of these has different abilities. Most classes in this game only have eight abilities on their slot. However, because you can swap weapons on this, there are eight abilities for your handguns, which are your kind of seen as your general purpose weapons. You switch to the shotgun, it will have four abilities that are unique that you can slot to. It has more than that in the in the spell book. You can have four abilities equipped, and when you swap to the rifle, you have four more abilities. So technically, Deadeye and Gunslinger have 16 abilities equipped um, versus the eight that most other classes have as well. When you go into the spell book, you obviously have more. Uh, the shotgun has five abilities, you choose four of them. The rifle has five abilities, you choose four of them. And then you have a bunch of pistol abilities to choose from. So rather than having a very, you know, in-depth identity, their identity is that they get to use weapon swap. So you actually get a lot of really cool options out of that. You stay in one weapon, you use the abilities that go on cooldown. And when you're done, you can swap to another weapon and use those abilities up close with a shotgun. And then you can, you know, switch to the, switch to the rifle. Uh, and you can go back and forth between them and do all kinds of things with those. So that's kind of the gameplay for Gunslinger at its base. The abilities themselves, uh, they function very like the weapon itself. All the shotgun abilities are very close range and shotgun oriented. All of the handgun weapon abilities are a little bit lower damage than the other two, but they have a lot of flexibility. You have gadgets and tools and lots of motion and movement. Um, there's some really cool uh, options to go along with that. I like the equilibrium move and things like that. Um, in general, handguns are like your in-between abilities. The shotgun is for up close burst damage and then the rifle is long range damage. However, uh, there is a big difference when you come down to late game building between the gunslinger and the Deadeye. The gunslinger itself tends to lean more towards the rifle as its primary mode of DPS and the Deadeye tends to lean more towards the shotgun, which means that because of their engravings, because of their gear and because of the abilities they have unique to themselves on those weapons, the Deadeye is better at using the shotgun and has its highest value out of shotgun and the gunslinger is more range. So if you're trying to choose between the two, that would be probably the biggest uh, defi defining moment between the two. We can look at their awakening, which is uh, effectively their uh, ultimate ability. First one is predatory glaze, uh, <laughs> glaze. It's predatory gaze, so we can show this really quick. Turns around, yeah. So it's kind of like that old Western movie where you get to just see you, uh, you know, start out and then it kind of shoots, goes out and shoots. So we are going to shoot this in a direction uh, towards the target. I'll turn around, boom. And I honestly, I don't even know which one gets used more. I think Bombard does. 
but you know again we're gonna see whether each one uh which one gets used more in what style of content but of course you have the option to equip either of the awakenings in your awakening slot and use them uh when as you see fit uh in pvp and pve so you'll be able to uh, kind of deal with that way but the next one is bombard it looks like this you just shoot a giant uh f u kind of boom boom right so it just shoots uh ju you jump back shoot a projectile and deal damage this one's a little bit faster and i think that's why probably people use bombard a little bit more but it does have the range on it so it, you know it's up to you on which one you want to use more so those are the abilities the general gameplay um in pve you'll see a lot of uh gunslingers just sitting back using their rifle because that's where most of their damage comes from uh and they have the ability to kind of do like that actually is probably one of the coolest skills she has uh is this one right here so you get to like zoom in and it's almost like you're playing like time crisis or something um that's pretty cool and then uh in pvp both deadeye and gunslinger have great damage output probably some of the best in the game but they also have a lot of staggering so in you when you see dead eyes and gunslingers in pvp most of the time you'll see them just constantly juggling people uh and just getting a lot of hits and just keeping people stuck in place with staggers um and lastly let's go over the engravings so i'm not going to get into all the different systems that exist to customize your character at endgame because there are quite a few and they're pretty involved um, but I think it is important from a general perspective to understand what class engravings you have available because you will be choosing at least one of them um, and they have a pretty impactful, impactful build-defying um, impact on your character and how you play it. So every class gets access to all the general engravings. You'll farm these in different ways, equip these in different ways through so your ability stone, your accessories, and then your two engraving slots. Um, and there's these do all sorts of things and you can combine them in different ways. But what is more important to look at from a general perspective is the two class engravings. And these generally are usually, especially on the newer characters, uh, a little bit polar opposite on how you play and they can change your character dramatically. So the first one is hunting time. I'm not sure what it's going to be called in the Western release. I'm sure it will have a different name and a different function. Um, and gun and Deadeye actually has similar, uh, you know, ideas or d similar uh, thought process to these. But hunting time makes it so you can no longer use your shotgun. So while you have this engraving on, and all engravings are uh, permanent, automatic, while they're equipped, they're just a passive effect that you get. When you have Hunting Time equipped, you can no longer use your shotgun. So you can only use your pistol and your rifle. But usually when you have class engravings, you have a trade-off uh, benefit. So you lose something, but gain something for it. So while you can no longer use your shotgun, the pistol and the rifle crit chance is increased uh, by a good bit. And that's why you see a lot of people going for uh, just rifle attacks, right? So you'll end up just kind of getting crazy crit, uh, doing tons of damage with the rifle. And then you'll be switch between the rifle and the pistol. Pistol just kind of bridge the gap. And, you know, when your rifle skills on cooldown, you still pump the damage. Um, I think with the right gear, you can do almost primarily rifle. Uh, and just kind of have that. But you still have the option to go to your pistol um, and react that way. The other class engraving, which is kind of uh, separate from that, is you get to keep all your weapons, but when you change weapons, you get a buff that coordinates kind of with the style of that weapon. So when you switch to pistols, you get attack speed. When you switch to shotgun, you get crit chance. And when you switch to the rifle, you get uh, a damage increase. These are the kind of the two build styles you can get for Gunslinger at very end game. You won't really be exposed to engravings until you are uh, soft cap at level 50, and then moving towards level 60. Um, you'll be kind of building your character that way. But I think it is important to know that about the character because it does specify a little bit how you build your character and how your character can be um, at the end game. So that's Gunslinger, super fun. Um, oh, I didn't mention their, their movement ability. So they have this uh, longer cooldown dash. It's eight seconds, which is on the higher end for a cooldown. Um, and they have a two stage dash, uh, kind of like the uh, Scrapper does, where you can dash once and you can dash again to get a little bit extra. It goes on cooldown regardless, and you do have super armor all immunity, uh, but you have that ability to uh, readjust if you want. You want to do one, it goes on cooldown sooner, um, and then if you want to do two, you can readjust on the second one. You have to hit it right away if you're going to get it to trigger, but that's the Gunslinger. I hope this helps you understand the character a little bit um, and, and dive in and have fun for the Western release, and uh, I hope you're excited. So let's go to the next class. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.